So look on the screen. Oh my gosh, so young. Rest in peace, Dalen Ferguson. This is why you can't build in this community. And I, I, I keep telling you, this is the only group I know where the best and brightest, that's who gets killed. This is the group that calls about, oh, we need communities, service centers, community centers. We need jobs. Jobs come from businesses. But if you have a group that is so self-hating and it is jealousy, they kill out the business owners that look like them. Then people that don't look like you come in the community and build and get wealthy and they don't hire you, but you're mad, but they still make them rich. I'm really sick of this HIT, sick of this shit. How much dysfunction can there be? How much dysfunction can there be? Just stupid. He had a shoe and clothing store. And you heard what happened. You know, one that you never imagined. Dalen Ferguson, the owner of DF Kicks in Lindhurst, was shot and killed outside his store last year. His family left wondering why. His mom is now hopeful she gets that answer during the trial. I'm scared. <laughs> That's what I've been asking God to give me the strength for. Because I don't know if I'm ready. I say I am, but I don't really know if I'm ready. Dalen, a successful entrepreneur, had dreams of expanding his business and teaching others his skills. How can you expand the business when, first of all, this community, they kill business owners? I mean, so, so stupid. You wonder why so many young black men in the inner city can't get a job? This is why. Black people, period. The only group I know that either starve out the business owners, if they're professional, number one, we can't get along with each other. That is so stupid. But you sure got along when we first came over here because you knew who was in charge. This is this is ridiculous. That's how you know this community, something is, there needs to be uh, an intervention. Mental. So here he has a store, Kicks and Clothing. Just like I said before, some young black men, two young black men, they had started a clothing line business in the mall in a middle class area. They sure did. The store, I guess 30, 30 days, store just got set up. Yes, and that was the one that still had, what was it, the grand opening? Look up. Sunday morning, went to go to, and there was a strip mall across the street from the major mall. Went to go um, to another store that was in a strip mall. Look up. I guess didn't have an alarm system. Just got set up. Clo they drove a truck, pulled the front doors off. Pulled the front doors off the building and just started grabbing clothes. Grand opening, grand closing. And they didn't have any masks then. Grand opening, grand closing. And you just saw empty, you know, just stuff disarray. It was so bad and it was kind of winding. You even saw, I guess, where they were running. So there, there was merchandise clothes laying out in the parking lot. And, of course, after that, they just shut down the shop. Two young black men. Kicks and clothing. So seeing that, we have to face the reality. A lot of our people, I know we don't want to face it. We want to always say, oh, we are loving and kind community and we, we is loving each other. Jealousy. So as usual in Blackistan, the intelligent one is gone. This is so Blackistan. The intelligent one, business owner, not, we don't hear about a felonious record. And then he wants to teach others his craft, expand. You can't even survive in Blackistan. He's gone. This is so Blackistan in true Blackistan fashion. But guess what? The trash on the screen is here. Let me play you this clip. It's, it was going to be the next video. But bump that. Let me play you this clip and I say hooray, hooray. 
This here is some place called, I believe, Batesville, Mississippi. People are tired. They're so tired. And we've been saying this. Listen, the parents need to be held accountable. They need to. This is your DNA running around here. So they got a little something for you. I hope this spreads and it's really go fast to Chicago, Detroit, Houston, New York. They got something coming for you. Baby mama, baby daddy, you're going to learn today. Police in Batesville, Mississippi, send out a message about a recent uptick in juvenile crime and told parents they will be charged and held responsible. Listen up. In a note on Facebook, the department said juveniles have been going around late at night, breaking into cars and sometimes stealing items. They warned residents to keep their vehicles locked at all times. The police chief says they will find the young suspects and charge them and their parents or guardians. Your parents. You hear that? They will find the suspects and charge. This is in Mississippi. I don't have a problem with it. In juvenile crime and told parents they will be charged and held responsible. Listen up. In a note on Facebook, the department said juveniles have been going around late at night, breaking into cars and sometimes stealing items. They warned residents to keep their vehicles locked at all times. The police chief says they will find the young suspects and charge them and their parents or guardians. You're a parent. You're responsible, responsible for what your juvenile child does. And uh, so we under the child neglect law in Mississippi, you can charge in the, the parent for something the child does. The parents can also be held accountable for any damages caused by juveniles committing crimes. Yes. And that is what needs to happen, because, listen, you're not going to tell me these parents are so busy at work. And oh, my gosh, no, 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 no. This is what they this is who they raised. My only problem is black women, baby mama, you want to carry the seed of poverty. D, you might, this needs to spread around. Where's your man at? Well, he been gone. You're going to learn today. Some of these ladies, they're like a thug. That kind of dude, I want me a thug. Okay. And I'm going to, you ain't going to tell me what to do. And I'm going to carry the seed of poverty. D, and I like that thug behavior. Uh-huh. So this is de definitely needed. Go ahead and get the kids and get them, get the parents too. Go find the disappearing dads. This is your DNA. This is your defective DNA. It needs to spread. And again, that's in base, Bates, B-A-T-E-S, like Bates Motel Hotel, Batesville, Mississippi on the Facebook page. They're going to charge the parents. Charge both of them. You can lock them up side by side. And they will also be financially liable for whatever is stolen or the, or the damages. I don't have a problem with that. But this right here on the screen is out of control. It's way out of control. We want to act like these are normal kids. Not how I grew up. This wasn't normal. A major shift is happening right now before your very eyes. Oh, the wealth transfer is on. The wealth transfer is on. And I hate to tell you this. And you all already know. The way the country is going, basically you're going to be rich or poor, no in between. The wealth transfer is on, especially with, with blue. I thought the blue, the Democratic Party was for the working stiff. Uh, looks like not, not from what I see. This right here, th there's really no place for them. And do you really think that somebody black, uh, maybe a black businessman that has some wealth or anything is going to come to the rescue? Hell no. Look what happened to the young businessman. I'm sure his mama was so proud. Kicks. Shoes and clothing. So who the heck you think gonna sit up here and come with these oh seed of poverty D violent having thug uh thug baby junior thug and then well let's have a talk Johnny it's it's too far it's too far gone so the way this is going 
you're going to have a lot of parents locked up. Oh, I really, and I'm not trying to frighten anybody. This group has no idea in the future. You're going to see poverty like you didn't. You, you, I'm afraid your heyday is over, to be totally honest with you. I'm afraid the heyday is over. This group is about to see some poverty you didn't think you were going to see. Watch. I bet my portfolio on it. I bet my Apple stock, AMD, Tesla stock. You, this group is going to really see some poverty. That's why I said for black women don't have children. This, unless you can get married in a ring, girl, bye. And I don't mean no 50-50 stuff. This is why the community, this, this is crazy. This is why this community, it'll never thrive. And then that's, that's the honest truth. As a collective, it, this, it'll never thrive. It's too far gone. So, unless you're brand new to the planet, that third and base field, Mississippi, don't be surprised to start to catch on. Just like I said, why do you think the illegal immigrants are being put in places like Chicago, New York? Why? They're not in Nebraska, not in Iowa. Why do you think that is? I can tell you why that is. The, weed, the star of your process is what I think. Now they're up there hollering in Chicago. I don't want them here. It's a little late. You're going to learn today to listen to decipher information. But I know we like popcorn knowledge. And popcorn knowledge is why this young man is dead. Stupid. Don't think. Don't listen. The women just get pregnant by any old man that come along. Well, I did the best I could. Well, it wasn't. Ma'am, it wasn't good enough. So that with the sheriff that in Batesville, Mississippi, I think it's an awesome idea. Go ahead. We've been, I've been sending over here. Go ahead and get the parent. Uh-huh. Little Dusty Dan, you used to shoot him up, man. You going to, oh, the mijo. I don't know where he go. Well, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and get, we'll get him later. Uh, we taking you now. Come on, mommy. Come on, papi. Little TT. Oh, you like to do robberies. Guess what? Go get him. Only thing is, as usual, the black mom gonna be the one uh gonna be the one uh, go going down. Why? Cause daddy been gone. That fool ain't never around. You gonna learn today. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. What do you think about the idea about the parents now being held accountable and financially responsible for any damage that the kids have caused? I'm down with it. It's a good idea. I'm out.